All right, so for today's tutorial, we're gonna be tackling this simple animation. It loops seamlessly. It's really satisfying to watch. It's very simple. If you wanna see it loop some more, you can head over to my Instagram. I posted it there. It loops seamlessly over there as well. And also you can check out my account, give me a follow and send me your other work if you've done any more, any more of my tutorials. So let's get into it. So we're gonna be using Blender 2.8 for this. So I would, if you don't have it, you can go download that right now. But let's go ahead and add in a plane. Now that we have the plane, we're gonna go over here to the modifiers, add a new modifier, and we're gonna be using the ocean modifier. So now that we have this, I'm gonna scale it down some, and we're gonna add a sphere, just a UV sphere here, and we are going to subdivide it once, and right here in smoothness, give it a smoothness of one, and now we have a perfectly smooth sphere, which is going to be our sun. So I'm gonna just scale it up some just like that, and bring it back. Now let's go ahead and add our camera right here. And we're gonna position ourselves right where we kind of want it, right about right about here. Control Alt Zero snaps it to view. And now we have sort of the composition that we're looking for. Now let's add our shading. First off, we're gonna be switching to EV in our render engine. Let's hit Z, rendered. So now it's just gray. So now it's just gray. We're going to go over here to the world settings and make it black. Now we're going to add a emission texture, I mean shader, emission shader to the ball right here. And we're going to make it orange right about there and give it a strength of 30. Boom. Now let's go over here to our bloom settings and let's just bring it down some kind of right about there. And then click on the, click on the ocean here, add a new shader make the roughness all the way down to zero, and now we have our water. You can see it working just the way we want. Now let's click on the plane and head over to the ocean modifier settings where we're gonna actually have this as a looping animation. So right here on the time, you can see, you can just play with it, and it moves just like water, and it's really pretty. All right, now we're gonna go over to the ocean modifier settings, and we're gonna make this loop. So right here on the time, make sure that your end frames so go over here to the end frames and decide how long you want your animation to be. So by default, in here, here in our settings, our frame rate is at 24 frames a second. I've, de I've decided that this will be a five second animation, so that needs to be 120 frames. So that's very important when, it, when we go over here to the modifier. So right here on time, right click, insert keyframe, go to the very end, and then click five for five seconds, insert keyframe, and now we have this so now make sure your scale is the same leave that there for now but remember that go over here to the modifier and add another ocean modifier now it won't do anything until we change it from generate to displace and let's take this time go from five right here in the beginning insert keyframe we're going to go to the end and double it so that'll be 10 just like that insert keyframe now to make it loop we're going to take these scales and op make them opposite. So we're gonna take the scale here, start it at zero, right click, insert keyframe, go to the very end and click one, just like that, insert keyframe, because originally it was at scale of one, so we just need to bring it back there. So now it goes from zero to one. Now let's go back here to the beginning and take this one and go from one to zero. So scale, insert keyframe, go to the very end, click zero, insert keyframe, and now we have a perfect loop. We can just watch it go to the end, and there we go. We have a perfect loop animation. So it's just simple as that. Now you can move around. Make sure that when you play with the resolution of the ocean modifiers, you do it to the same on both. So I'm gonna switch it to eight, and then just watch it animate the way I like. Just like that, it's really pretty, very satisfying. Now let's just go over here to the export settings so you can render it out the way you want. So right here on the little printer icon, change it from PMG to FFmpeg video. Here in encoding, change it from that to an MP4 and from medium quality to high quality. And then just go up here to render, render animation, and it'll render out and you'll have a really nice animation. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this. And if you make it, send it to me on Instagram. I'd love to see you guys at work. And thanks for watching.